Hello, my name is Ardi, and we are going to solve practice problem 10.4 from study group book. And the question is calculate current I0 on the circuit. Okay, so now I0 is this current. And here. And if we take a look here, we have a circuit that we have a resistor and capacitor and inductor. We have also the source, the voltage source and the current source. But the voltage source and current source is in polar coordinates, so I want to convert them into Cartesian coordinates. But the angle is zero degrees, so that will be easy enough. So we will have 60 volt here and 2.4 ampere here. Okay, so now let's see the larger picture here. So, let's rewrite that. So, this is 60 volt and this is 2.4 ampere. Okay, now let's draw loops here because I want to use KVL for this circuit. So, this is the first loop, and this loop is the same as I0 okay so I was just name it I0 and then we have maybe want to use this loop here so this loop is I1 and I want to use another loop here and this loop is I3 okay now because we have a current source between them, we need to use another loops, which is a super loop. See super loop. But we will see it later, the super loop. I want to analyze this node first. This node. Let's name this node now. Let's see at node A. Node A. Okay, what can we do from here? If we take a look here, the current that goes in is this I1 and 2.4 ampere. And I3 is going out, right? And KCL said that the sum of currents that goes in is equal to the currents that goes out. The current that goes in is 2.4 and then one more is I1 and the current that goes out is I3 maybe I should name that I2 maybe not I3 so this is this will be I2 so I will have I2 and if we rearrange this we will have I1 minus I2 will be minus 2.4 this will be useful later so let's save this as equation now okay now let's start at loop I0 at loop I0 okay at a loop KVL said that the sum of a voltage all voltages will be zero and we will start from this voltage source and the current is flowing from negative to positive so our sign will be negative and the value is the value is 60 minus 60 and then plus 10 ohm and ohm but the only current that pass through that 10 ohm is i0 so i will have i0 and then we move on to this capacitor so the capacitor has uh, impedance of minus J4 I'll have minus J4 multiplied by I0 but I1 is flowing to the opposite direction so I will have I0 minus I1 okay oh I think I don't have much space left 
So let's see. Let's move that equation a bit. Move somewhere to the left. Okay. And it's okay. And then plus, let's move on to the last resistor here. So we have 5 ohm. And I0 is passed through that resistor, but I2 is flowing to the other side direction. So I'll have minus I. Okay. And all of this will equal to 0. This will equal to okay, move it a bit. That will equal to zero. And so let's simplify this. We can move this minus 60 to the right hand side. So we'll have 60 here. And then 10 I0. Have 10 I0 minus j4 minus j4 of i0 and then plus j4 of i1 4 of i1 and then plus 5 of i0 minus 5 of i2 okay Let's see what can we merge here. We'll have yeah 15. 10 plus 5, right? 15 minus J4. And this is for I0. And then I will have for I1, I only have this one. So I will have plus J4 I1. And then I will have minus 5 i2 and that will equal to 60 and no nothing that we can simplify from this so let's save this as equation number equation number two and we need to take a look at this super loop why because we cannot take i1 and i2 individually because we have current source here so let's do something at the super loop. See, at super loop. Loop, we will have what is it? Again, the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's start from this capacitor here. I will have minus J4, right? minus j4 and if we see super loop here we need to take a look at the current individually so i will have i1 here but i0 is going to the opposite direction so i will have minus i0 and then we need to take a look at this inductor and the only current that pass through this inductor is i1 right so i will have plus j8 multiplied by i1 then this capacitor here i will have minus j4 i mean i'm minus j6 and the only current that pass through this capacitor is i2 right and then lastly this resistor here i will have plus 5 and the current is I2 here. We'll have I2. But I0 is flowing to the opposite direction. So minus I0. And that will equal to 0. Okay, now let's simplify this one by one. So I'll have minus J4I1 plus J4I0. And then plus j8 i1 minus j6 i2 plus 5 i2 
minus 5i 0 and that will equal to 0 and let's see one by one i0 this is i0 and this is i0 so i will have minus 5 plus j4 for i0 so i'll have minus 5 plus j4 and then we multiply this by i0 and then plus okay i will have i1 Okay, I have I1 and this is I1 so we will have minus J4 plus J8 so I will have J4 right so I will have I1 over here then for I2 I have the coefficient will be 5 and minus J6 okay so I will have plus 5 minus j6 and we multiply this by i2 and that will equal to 0 and let's save this as equation number 3 so now we have three equation with three variables 1 2 and 3 we should we should be able to solve this okay now let's copy our equation and move on to the next slide okay let me copy this this is the first equation and then this one and then lastly the third one Let's just copy that. Okay, and then let me paste this. And we can see from here, I will have, this is the first equation. And then this is the second equation. And lastly, this is the third equation. Why it should be like this? Can it be ungrouping? Group? Okay, yes, it can. So I don't need this one. This one. Still need that. Okay. 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 Okay, let's move this there. I will have this three equation with three variables right and we can rewrite this as matrix so let's write that as three by three matrix so let's see I will have matrix three by three let's make it quite large and I will have I0 I1 and I2 vector from here. Okay, now from this this first equation, the coefficient of I0 is 0, right? Because we don't have I0 there. And then the coefficient of I1 is 1. And the coefficient of I2 is minus 1. And then for this one, for I0, I will have 15 minus J4. And then this will be J4. And this will be minus 5. Minus 5. And then this one, the last row, will have minus 5 plus J4. And then... Let's see the equation. Just plus and plus. Okay, sorry about this. Plus, this is I1, right?
okay four and then this one will be five stay six and for the right hand side i will have this one minus 2.4 and then 60 and then zero okay it will be hard to solve this by hand so let's just plug it into MATLAB. see for the the matrix I will have a is equal to 0 1 and minus 1 and then 15 minus j4 and then j4 and then minus 5 and then minus 5 plus j4 and then j Four, and then 5 minus j multiplied by 6 okay this is for matrix a and then for the vector i will have minus 2.4 and then 60 and then 0 okay 0 and let's solve this in first a multiplied by b. Okay, I will have that equation. We'll have three numbers there. So let's copy paste this into our PowerPoint. So we will have this and we can write this as i1 i mean i0 i1 and i2 so for i0 i will have 6.0568 plus j 0 0.6305 and then for i1 i will have 4 point that number 0 0.8 for one and this is also the same 6 point four four seven six and the unit is ampere ampere and ampere but usually when we are asked about voltage or current we need to present it in polar coordinate so the question asked is i0 so we are asked to find i0 right so we only care about this value here i0 and we need to convert this into polar coordinate Okay, polar coordinate and let's do that so I will have our value here is this value right and we can calculate the amplitude of this one so I will have the absolute value of this and I will have 6.0895 Okay, so let's rewrite that first. 6 point zero, zero what? Remember, zero eight ninety five, zero eight ninety five, and then the angle. The angle will be the arc ten, right? And so I will have cos tangent of 0 0.6305 divided by 6.0568 but this is in radian so I will need to convert it into degree so radian to degree of this value 
and I will have 5.943 degrees is it the same as the answer key let's take a look oh yeah it's the same so here is the final answer for this problem so I0 is this value hopefully I did not make any mistakes in calculation so let me know in the comments if I did and see you in the next video bye bye